Hi, this is Emily Zlini with TV Insider, and I'm here virtually with Melanie Scrifano and Tim Rosan of Winona Earp, sci-fi's ass-kicking, demon-hunting show. So it's been a long road to season four. I'm so excited for fans to see this show come back. It's been two years since it's been on TV. And at the end of season three, we got quite a bit of shakeups going on um, in the world. So the curse is broken and Winona has lost Peacemaker. So who is Winona without this curse hanging over her, her head and consuming her life? I don't know. <laughs> and I, as an actor, I'm like, it's, it gives me so much as an actor too, because as Melanie, I'm like, well, what, what is my purpose now in this show? And I know there is one, but, but it's great to be able to play this like, like loss of identity um, and, and sort of figure out what my new role is and how I'm going to choose to interface with the world. Yeah, that's awesome. And you're also directing this season, yes. which is huge. Can you tease what's going on in the episode? I know you get to direct quite a few um, of the main characters, at least. Um, it's madness. It is bonkers. <laughs> uh, there's a lot of um, references to body parts. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. and I'm proud of that um, and yeah it, and it's, a, it's just um, a, a brave new world all right looking forward to it uh, now Tim last we saw Doc he was headed in after Waverly into the Garden of Eden which Admittedly, seeing the press photos that have gone out so far does not exactly look very paradise-y. Uh, what can you tease about what kind of danger he's going to run into there? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, again, I can't say too much. If you think Mel wasn't saying anything, I can't say anything. <laughs> I'm the scariest cat in the universe. Oh. I'll say this. I love that we, when we last... Uh, left Doc, he was taking a step into the garden towards something new. And I think that's very important for that character to do from season three to season four. So I'm very excited for him to be taking this step into the new direction. Uh, whether or not it will be good for him uh, is to be determined. And just to backstep a second for Melanie directing, for my, on my end, I think the proudest moment I've had on this show had nothing to do with me. It was this year watching her direct. Uh, it was an incredible uh, experience and she killed it. And I was very proud of her uh, as her friend and uh, her co-star. It was, uh, she's awesome. So it was great. Your two characters in particular have also had quite a bit of strife throughout the four seasons or three seasons rather. And going into season four, I would say there's probably still some strife there. But will Doc's decision to go after Waverly kind of clean the slate a little bit, maybe, for Winona? Hell yeah. <laughs> Waverly is, uh, I mean, listen, Waverly is now without a curse, without sort of being the heir of anything. Um, Waverly is really the only thing she's got left because love is great but who knows if it'll ever happen but your family is forever and so um so the fact that doc goes in to to get what's most precious to winona is uh definitely gonna score a little a little hand job for sure jeez louise what are you guys most looking forward to fans seeing this year i feel like the parallels between what's happening in purgatory and what hap has happened in the real world mm. in terms of the pandemic, there are some real parallels um, that I'm, I can't wait to see if other people see it or if I just made it up, <laughs> but I'm excited to see people's reactions to the new circumstances. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I, yeah, that's really interesting that you said that. Um, 
And especially it goes back to what she said about family being the most important thing. That's something I think people were reminded of during the pandemic yeah. also, you know, which is crazy. It's just the most important thing in your life is your family, uh, whatever your version of family is. Uh, and the other thing is just how happy I am that the kids and the Erpers and, and us, we get to come back to a show that we almost lost. Just the fact that it's coming back is so incredible uh, that I'm just excited that people get the show they love back. It's been such a long road to season four and the fan base is just so crazy for the show. Um, billboards, just fan campaigns galore. What would you like to say to the Erpers who helped you get there um, right before season four premieres? Uh, we get to be back here with our family doing the thing we love most. Um, and there's just, just the fact that we get to be back telling this story, um, together is, uh, there are no words to express the gratitude, I think. Yeah. I mean, you know, just, it's a, it's thank you. And I think everyone is so aware how lucky we are on all levels of production. And I think coming back, I could feel that um, from the writing to just the set designs and everything. This is the season that um, Erpers deserve. They deserve this season four. So I'm happy they get it. But also like the fact that they gave it to like, mm -hmm. we get to enjoy each other's company because of that. And mm -hmm. then even crew came up to me recently and we're like, there was, somebody came up to me and they're like, I'm so happy the show's back because we just enjoy working on this show so much. It's the best show to work on. Um, so like, we just, we are all, not just the cast, but like the crew, like everybody who loves this show so much from behind the scenes is just so grateful that we get to do it again. And it's, it's just, it wouldn't have happened without the Orpers. That's amazing. Thank you guys so much for hopping on virtually with me today from Calgary. Uh, Winona Earp season four premieres Sunday, July 26th at 10, 9 central on sci-fi. Go check it out.